today. These are the Kai pups that were born about six days ago and uh, what a phenomenal group of pups and uh, they've got so much energy and so much power and they're moving around and doing so good. Such healthy rascals getting fat. Kai's eating like a wolf and uh, these guys are good boy. This, I think, is the big female. I'm just trying to check. Yeah. This is the big female. She was the second video. Look at this girl. She's such a good girl. What a good girl. She's trying to stay with me. This, this dog. She's trying to hang out with me. So this is a pretty cool setup because... Uh, these are the Karoo pups, Karoo and Kai. Now, what's really special about this litter, of course, this is Kai's final litter. And Kai has, um, with this litter, matched her mother's record. Tora held the record for the most pups forever. And Kai has now matched her mother. They both had 34 pups. And uh, the only difference between the two is that Tora, of course, did it in four litters. And Kai took an extra litter. Now, Tora had an advantage because she was with the same male all the time. And that male was extremely prolific. He was very virile. Hey, Letta, you better watch out. Letta. Kai's other pup, Letta, is right, right handy. Tora was right handy too, but I took her out. She had to come and help Kai eat. But uh, this is an incredibly fertile line of dogs. And this whole lineage is fertile, and that's one of the uh, most fertile lines out of Norway is this lineage. It's very, very good. And of course, Kai is a granddaughter of Dakota. He's an extremely uh, prolific line of dogs as well. And it's uh, this female here will carry on for us. Kai will have, will have, will, will stay and help me train these dogs, but uh, Letta will have a litter this this year, and she will have what's called the fifth generation in the yard. These are fourth, same as Letta, and so we'll have uh, we'll have all five generations walking around. It's kind of cool. These are hundreds of generations old, but uh, I got five right in the yard. You come by me, buddy. You come up here by me. Let's just see what this is, guy. Who is this guy? It's just a little male. Yeah, this is one of the little males here. Look at him. What a good boy. What a good boy. You're a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, hang on. So yeah, we're in isolation up here. Obviously everybody in the world pretty much is in isolation. And so we're just uh, keeping track of everything, not going in, not going out, and uh, really watching what's happening. Now, it's kind of funny because Tora, she grabbed a hold of my arm yesterday and she, she put a pretty good hold on her too and she gave a little shake and I still got teeth marks there. I had told her that because of the slow down and the border shut down and transports everything, 
I said I might have to ration her food. <laughs> she gets a hold of this just like this, gives it a little shake, and growls a little bit, and says, I think you can ration somebody else, she says. That was pretty funny. So then Ella, she says, well, I can help. So I'm hiking with her, and she, uh, <coughs> hey, Letty, you better step back out. Good girl, Kai. Let it don't don't come in. Don't come in. Kai is set. Come over here, Kai. Yeah, good. Let us stay. No, let it out. Good. Good. That's a good job, Kai. Let it stay out. Don't come in. So Ella, she says, Well, I'll help. I'll find you something to hunt. So she gets on the scent of something and gets going and it took me a couple hours to track her down. I could hear her barking, so I'd go up this one ridge, and then she'd move with the, whatever she was chasing. I couldn't see. I'd hear her over there, so I'd have to scale another one. And I hear her up there, and I scaled up another one, and I made it about 3,000 feet up in record time. And finally, I saw her way up on a cliff, and I finally she saw me and she I called her I said come on quit going and so she so I, I thought it was helping she said like just trying to hunt right and I said no we're not hunting and whatever you're chasing I said I'm not packing it home from here and it had to have been a cougar because nothing goes straight up but big cats and so I I didn't even have a gun I'm like come on Ella so anyway she can hunt that Ella but she was barking to let me know where she was going, and she'd get somewhere and bark again, and I'd have to beeline over there. So I was cutting off their angles all the time, but man, oh man, you gotta be in shape to hunt behind her, let me tell you. So yeah, she was uh, willing to help out too in the crisis. So we are going to be hunting this fall, there's no doubt about it. Um, We'll be uh, we'll be back on the on the moose. Kyle be barking a moose this fall and Letta and I might even get Ark out boot barking and Ella. I suppose I'll take on ya, Mon, pretty much everybody. So yeah, they'll all have a chance to help out this fall. But uh, we're doing okay up here. We're uh, isolated, so there's nobody in or out. And of course, you can't uh, you can't socialize right now. You got to stay, especially at my age. Right, this virus is hard on men my age. And so, you, if you're my age you, and a man, you best stay isolated. And obviously, if you're older than me, and your health is at least compromised a little bit, then you really got to be careful. But I'm not taking any chances anyway. So we, uh, we're we just very, very uh, thankful we got such a good health care system and everything is working pretty good and everybody's looked after out there as best they can. I mean, no no worries up here, of course. It's, it's not like anybody ever comes to visit me anyway. So it's uh, not like I get tons of traffic. So nothing brand new for me. This is standard fare. But I wanted to show these little guys because uh, it's always fun for everybody that's at home to, to see what those little babies turn out like in a week. And these guys are so fat already, I can hardly pick them up. You better get up here, buddy. You better go here, buddy. They're just a big fat so. Where are you? Who is this guy coming? What is this guy? Well, this is the other big female. Look at this girl. Oh my goodness. You guys come by me here. Get over here. Come on, girl. Get up here. Come on, girl. Get up here. Come on. Good. I'm over here. Come by me. Come on. What? You guys come by me. I'm up here. Come on. What? Get up here by me. But, but you can start training these guys at day one. 
I was training pups at day one. I trained them two months before that in the belly of their mother. So anybody that says they can't hear or smell, they don't know what they're talking about. Because they can smell and they can hear the vibrations. They might not actually have an ear canal open, but that don't mean they can't tell sound. They can catch vibrations easy. And they can smell. Oh, how do you think they find the debt, right? They can smell. So they smell me right away, boy. They lock onto me like crazy. When I call them, they come. Now, ideal way for a guy to train that, you see, is sit on the other side of the female and call them. And then they come to her and they start making that tone already. You've all seen me sit out in the bush and call nine little guys come running over, right? Well, it's not magic, it's just repetition. This is how you do it, right? Sit right here, call them guys over when they're coming. Because they're obviously coming. It's kind of like train and sit. Just while he's sitting, go sit. Because he's sitting anyway. So you just go like that, right? Who's this guy? Who's this big rascal? This has got to be one of the big boys. This is the big crew boy. Look at this guy. Holy cow. What a good boy. What a good boy. Oh my goodness. Two females. Rest are males. This is a hunter. Pure Norway dog. This guy. Look at this. Oh my goodness. What a hunter. Kai, this is a hunting machine. This guy. So, the genetic superiority of the hunt lines in this particular pup right here are so profound that it's not even funny. Kai, of course, is uh, one of the very few dogs probably breeding. Um, there would only be a handful breeding dogs. If it would be none in North America outside of my dogs, but uh, this is one of the few that has two Nordic hunting champions. And then, of course, this pup has the whole crazy wild lineage of Karoo. And Karoo, of course, is just loaded with hunt champions, right? And his mama and his dad, ooh, wow, like superior, superior dogs. And uh, Kai's background, of course, all the best Sweden and Norway dogs. Extremely good hunt lines. So these dogs here, they're some serious dogs, let me tell you. So yeah, some of the very best in the world right here. Well, this is probably one of the very best pups in the world. You know right, buddy? You know right? You know right? You're a hunting machine, you are, buddy. What a good boy. Yeah. Very, very good dogs, these ones. So, yeah, we're pretty excited about this year, even though with all the chaos, um, we're, people are, are, they realize, hey, they got to make changes in their life. And they got to start getting away from the crowds and getting out back to the, you know, hiking and doing things out in the bush. Because, uh, you can't, uh, you can see what happens in them crowds, right? Wow. All them old guys, they let their health guard down and didn't stay active. Brutal on them. In the high density areas, wow, it's brutal. So where remote train is and where men are still getting out and getting active, they're, they're surviving. So we're still getting Quite honestly, quite a few calls. It's pretty good. Now we're having a little issue crossing the border, but it's not a big deal because we have a litter coming in Montana. Um, that will be a couple of weeks, and we got pups right in Montana. So the U.S. folks won't have to cross the border. They can just go there and Karoo babies, Karoo pups. Like how friggin' wild is that? So we got that female down to Montana. Who's making all that racket? Which one of you guys? You gonna get over here, buddy. Quit making that noise. Quit making that racket, mister. 
Get up on me. Get up on me. So, Karoo babies are coming down there out of Tika. And Tika, of course, is Kai's mother, Tora's brother, Jaeger. Tika's dad is Jaeger. And Tika's mother is Teklin Tuba's mother, Camp. I mean, you can't get better dogs, right? So those are some phenomenal dogs coming down there. And you guys are good, boy. You guys are good. You guys are good. Yes, you guys are good. Yes, you guys are good. You're a pretty good fella. You're a pretty good fella. You better get up here. Get up here. Get up here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can't. You can't get anywhere there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yes, hang on. Stay right away. Yes, you're a good boy. <laughs> what a good boy. That's a good boy. Kai, you better come and feed these guys. Come here. Kai. You really just hang on, mister. Yeah, what a good set of boys. But uh, this guy's hungry, Ty. This guy's hungry. He's starving. He's starving, that guy. He's starving, that guy. This guy's still sleeping. He's not hungry a bit. This guy's sound asleep, too. What is this? Is this the big female? Oh, yeah. You know, just hang out by me here. Just hang out by me. So, yeah, good little guys, boy. Nice pups. Nice pups. Really good. So we got another litter of these coming. So most likely this litter will go to Canadians. And obviously the Montana litter will go to the U.S. folks. And we've got people on the list there waiting. So um, you could still contact us though because she could have a pretty big litter. So you can get a hold of us if you're in the U.S. Because uh, there will not be another litter of that caliber in the U.S. again for a long time. Uh, that would be about as good a litter as there is in the world, that litter. It's on a par with this litter. And uh, that's an extremely good set of dogs that are in the background of that. Jaeger, of course, one of the very best uh, males you could imagine. Camp, oh wow. I mean, everybody knows all the history of, I mean, everybody knows Mon, right? Mon is a grandson of Camp, he's Teclas. You know, think of all them big boys, Vitner and Viking and Mon and Tico and Kronos and Max and, oh God, there's a lot of them. There's just no end to those big boys. And then, of course, Kai. Kai is uh, a daughter of Bram. Now Tika, Kai's sister, right over here at Creston, has, uh, has pups on the ground from Swix. Unbelievable pups. So yeah, it's just really, really cool. And I got two of Kai's, or uh, Karoo's daughters outside from, from Kalia. So one of them, potentially both of them are going home this weekend. So they're probably going home this weekend. And one of uh, one of Tika's boys goes home this weekend too. So it's it's a pretty fun time. Well, Kai, that's a very, very good video. Very good video. You're doing a wonderful job with these guys. Yeah. Kai has no problem when she has her pups. Very easy to work with Kai. I really don't do much. I just wipe the noise a little dab, but I don't need to do much with Kai. And she cleans them up and gets them milking and they're nursing right away. She's a good milker. She's putting on weight. She's eating like a wolf, so she eats good. She's doing good. So we got females in heat right now, but three that are not getting bred this round, so. 
but uh, we'll soon have another female in heat that we're getting good. Well, Kai, that's pretty good. You just stay. You just stay. Stay. Look at these guys. You just stay right there. Yeah, they're doing good, these guys. Nope, just stay. Don't move. Just stay. Yeah, that's a good group of pups, boy. Really good group of pups. Just stay. I'll just remove this guy a little bit. There. Yeah, pretty cool. Just stick. 